Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Let's... Ah, uh, we didn't pick up... Oh, there's another item I could have picked up. Ah, I dislike this room. Anti-fairy is the worst part. Yeah, I could have picked up the magic powder. I'm thinking about it now, I'm disappointed that I didn't remember that. Would have been helpful here with all the anti fairies we're running into. Uh, well, I've actually got some interesting stuff to talk about today. That's not you. That's not the usual thing with me. God damn it! I hate this quicksand nonsense. Yeah. Okay. I actually have interesting things to talk about today. Die you! Oh god, that sound is ear piercing. Ah, oh, how lovely. Oof. I don't know if I should have hit that block. Alright. see what stuff has are all like. Oh no, it's Zelda. Don't be deceived by the magic of blind the thief. Ah, yes. There's a weird bug. I hate bugs. Which must die. Okay. Hmm. Magic of blind the thief basically means don't pull that lever, or you will be screwed. Yes, you will. Okay, I didn't do much. Let's just um. Whoops. Let's just make a safe state and. Whoops. <laughs> I'm messing everything up. Let's display what this actually does do. It drops these weird snaky things on you. These are very unpleasant because they can move through seemingly impassable areas and they charge at you. So yeah, that is the magic of Blind the Thief. It's most evil magic. I don't like it. So okay. Now uh, let's see what those uh, skull things in that other room had to offer. These ones down here maybe they have health. Oh, it has a switch. Even better. Ah, uh, bugs. Bugs must die. I hate their pattern. I hate how they walk. It's just like real insects. It just makes it. It's real nice attention to detail, but. It's very unpleasant, because I hate bugs. I was playing uh, Mega Man 7 once, and I was in that junk man stage. And there were all those cockroaches. Oh, God. That was hell on earth for me. Okay, I didn't do anything. Uh, let's defend myself against little green bugs. Uh, but yeah, I, I hated that stage in Mega Man 7. That's a pretty good game. I haven't played. I've gotten past the first four. Okay, I didn't want to. Gone past the first four bosses. But no further. Okay, remember that thing for later. Okay. Oh, yeah. So now to talk about said interesting things I said that I could talk about. Number one. Uh, I was watching a video of. Erg. This place looks evil now. I was watching a video of uh, Dario 8676's and where he talked of uh, his Let's Play of Super Castlevania 4. Where he talked about, I think it was that, or no, it could have been this game actually. Well, why is that Ruby all weird not existing? This damn beeping sound is getting on my nerves. So anyway, in the video, he talked about, um, oh, there I go. Well, I have a fairy. He talked about people, generally in the Let's Playing world on YouTube, who basically are, uh, recently been complaining over much about subscribers and the amount of subscribers they have and, you know, comments and stuff like that. 
And I actually found that video to be pretty interesting. Just gotta get rid of that guy. He's evil. And, um, found that to be an interesting observation. No, no. That's great. I just went in a freaking loop. And now I have to go all the way back. Okay, I found that to be an interesting observation, and uh, pretty true. And I think that people shouldn't really be so concerned about that, because, I mean, stuff like this takes... Damn it! It takes time, you know? And you shouldn't expect to be popular all the time, and I mean... Especially, he also talks about people getting criticism, but, and like complaining about that. Well, honestly, if you're going to be criticized, if it's constructive criticism and not just, you know, trolling, you'd probably be well off to take note of uh, criticism, because it can make, you can uh, use it to make your stuff better. So, I don't know, people who, people should not be complaining so much about, like, views and stuff, because you will get people, eventually, to care about what you're doing, and to take note. So don't get all, you know, frustrated and stuff, I mean, I've been around for, since February, which isn't that long, um, and I've got three subscribers, but I don't really mind, because... I know I'll probably get more in the future, and, uh, you know, I'll just be patient, and that's always a good thing, just to be patient, because things take time, and it'll go at its own pace, and that's just something you gotta remember. Uh, but, on to a more interesting subject, uh, this end of July is gonna be pretty cool for me, for a number of reasons. You don't need keys to go through these doors, so don't worry about it. For a number of reasons. Number one, ah, this thing turns you into a bunny. And you can fool it by having it go into walls. Number one reason is, uh, oh, I keep getting interrupted. Thank you very much, you saved my life. Yeah, yeah, all right. Please take me outside. Uh, don't take that advice, don't go outside. If you do, you have to get her all over again. And in fact, she even tells you don't. I don't want she, that she doesn't want to be outside. So, um, on Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, quick get in here. This floor is going to start disintegrating. Get the treasure. Alright. Got the Titan's Mint. We can lift the heaviest stones that were once impossible to budge. Run from the disintegrating floors. So, on Tuesday, there's going to be a Pakistani. Ow! Sufi music event in Manhattan, which I'm going to go to, which sounds really interesting. And uh, a little bit later, really towards the end of July, oh no, the, the soul group, the stylistics, are going to be out performing where I live. So I'm going to be going to that. That sounds really cool. I mean, once in a lifetime chance to see a real soul group performing. And uh, I'm a god damn it. Okay, I'm really pissed off now, but I'm really excited to see that. And uh, stylistics, stylistics are pretty good, so I think I'm gonna end the video here. So uh, I'll see you next time.